This is a place for thinking big, uh, pursuing ideas and solutions that are really at scales that you would not be able to do somewhere else. Our area of research involves um, creating the next best superconductors. Addressing concerns with a protein that's implicated in Huntington's disease. As some countries look to develop and enhance their nuclear power programs, we look to mitigate risks associated with weapons of mass destruction. We uh, just completed a, a create up between General Motors and us, and we uh, de the team developed a new class of uh, lubricant additives. We're going to potentially save uh, billions of uh, gallons of uh, oil per year for U.S. ORNL is the leading uh, national lab right now broad, for broad-based power electronics research. We're trying to get the cost of electric vehicles down by uh, reducing the cost of the power electronics electric machine. My work centers around making biofuel sustainable to um, reduce global warming and uh, reduce the CO2 pollution. Our uh, grand challenge is to look for energy storage material like batteries. Trying to understand what does climate change mean for individuals, human beings, our communities. If atmospheric CO2 increases, if temperatures are warmer, if precipitation regimes change, how does that affect plant growth? We're using the compute power that we have at Oak Ridge, right? We have the capability to increase the resolution of the climate model. Doing climate simulations, which have, haven't been done before. How do you make a material that has exactly the properties that you want? It's really designing functionality into the very basic building blocks. I use large parallel computers, sort of like Titan, to study materials at their most basic level, at the level of atoms and electrons. My use uses spectroscopy as a tool to study material sciences, chemistry, and biological systems. Because my mission is to understand how materials behave, atom by atom, on how to make these materials better, stronger. Being at ORNL and having the spallation neutron source and the high-flux isotope reactor is a, not only a, a, an advantage to a physicist like me, but it offers unique opportunities to uh, study materials in a, in a unique way, in a different perspective. So we see people from anywhere in the world who come uh, to use neutrons um, and we try to help them solve their problems from biology to material science, to engineering. I'm working with a, with a team to design and build a new enriched stable isotope production facility. This facility will be the only one in the country and one of only a few in the, in the world. We work on using the fastest supercomputers in the world to discover the next generation of pharmaceuticals. I was part of that discovery team of a brand new element. I'm hoping by the time my five-year-old is in high school, it will be named, and I can say, Mommy did that. There's all kinds of great science that, that's going on every day. What I view my role is, is to enable that science. I shoot hydrogen bullets into large donut-shaped plasmas. At least that's what I tell people at a dinner party. This is the laboratory where we built the, fe the first uh, uh, continuously fissioning reactor. Since then, there's been uh, a culture, a legacy of uh, uh, pursuing these technologies long term, demonstrating them. We can simulate nuclear reactors in, in scales that have never been done before. This brings capabilities to practical engineers that can solve real problems. Everything from developing data and analysis tools to evaluate options for the entire integrated waste management system. In the end, the goal is more energy. My job here is to connect industry with our world-class research researchers and the assets here. It can give that company a global uh, advantage in the marketplace. I work in the Buildings Technology Research and Integration Center. What we're trying to do is reduce the amount of energy that goes into the house. The real end game for us is we want to see large-scale uh, production of carbon fiber. We can significantly reduce the weight of vehicles, uh, saving on gas uh, and energy. Where's this headed? Who knows? Every day we're getting companies in that are interested in the technology at development of new products, companies that make automotive systems, that make aerospace systems, biomedical systems. We all here work with the best of the best to be able to do anything we want to do as far as machinists. We got, we got plenty, pretty much state of the art. To uh, engage the next generation of youth in, in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and math, 
uh, to, to inspire them to not only be able to dream dreams, but to realize those in real world constraints. To make them understand why energy research is important and why our lab is pivotal to that. People doing research to basically create you know, solutions to the world's problems. 